Hello, SBC fam. Pastor Pitts here with another daily devotional. I really pray that you all are being blessed and encouraged by these daily devotionals by Robert and by Tony, myself and the other associate ministers. We want to inspire you. We want to encourage you. We want you to grow in God. And James is going to help me to illustrate that today. Yesterday, we looked at James chapter 1, verses 1 and 2, when he talked about us to consider or to count it all joy when we go through various trials, which is really interesting because it leads us to our second point today. And our second point from James, as he's talking to us, he tells us, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance. He says that we can count it all joy as we go through various trials, trials if we know. We know what? Knowing that this testing, knowing that this straining will produce something, that it will help us to build spiritual muscle. We must be tested so that we can be trusted. I need you to understand that. Um, my friends who are engineers, I was with a, a friend just the other day who was a civil engineer, and they built these buildings, and uh, they, he works with bridges and roads and things of that nature. And he talks about no bridge can be trusted to carry a car and to carry a load unless it has been tested. Um, there's all kinds of ways in which they test the integrity of a bridge or the integrity of a building. And that is really true here in California with earthquakes and things of that nature. The testing of the structure is critical so that it is able to withstand the load that it is designed to carry. God has designed us to carry certain loads. And he says that we can go through various trials if we know, if we don't we, we don't waver on what we know. We know that God is doing something. In it. Let, let me see if, it can, if I can make it make sense in this context. I have on my shirt, uh, this shirt, is, I think is a half marathon from a few years ago. Uh, a, mar a half marathon is uh, 13.1 miles long. But I am now in training for a full marathon. And a full marathon is 26.2 miles. In order to have the endurance to be able to complete the race, one thing I thought was very fascinating is that you don't have to run 26.2 miles in order to finish a marathon. In your training, in order to build endurance, in order to build the stamina, in order to be able to carry the load of finishing the race that is laid out for me, there are four things that I must do in order to be able to complete the race, to build the endurance. One of the things that I must do is what they call heel training, heel training. Heel training is spending 30 minutes to 45 minutes running up and down steep hills that will build endurance. That's a different kind of endurance um, than running flat. The second thing that we must do in order to complete the race of a marathon is that we have to do what they call pace training, pace training. Pace training is when you run a certain distance at a certain pace, and then for about a minute to two minutes, you pick up the pace and you run much faster. And you run as fast as you can for that two, that one to two minutes, and then you go back down to your regular pace, and then you go back up. That 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 builds endurance and speed. So the, the hill climbing builds strength. The, the pace builds speed and endurance. And then they have something called long, uh, short, uh, long, slow runs, slow, long, long runs. Oh, gosh, these these long, slow runs that we have. And those are designed to get us accustomed to running a long distance. But we never have to run in training more than 18 to 20 miles in order to build enough endurance to finish 26.2 miles. I know that's crazy. But the last thing they want you to do is have cross training, cross training. That, those are things other than running. Those are exercises, push-ups and weight training and cycling and our swimming, something other than running, cross training. And when you put all those elements together, it has given you the endurance to finish the race. When you think about what James said yesterday in earlier text, he says, consider the trials. That's cross training that gives you the endurance knowing that God is building you up to finish the race. Ladies and gentlemen, God gives us endurance. 
we go through all kinds of trials. We go through all kinds of things that seem to wear us out, but they build on top of each other. And that faith has to be tested so that faith can be trusted. And the reason I can run the hills, or the reason we can make it up the hills, the reason we can make those long um, stretches, the reason we can do things in spurts and slow down in spurts and keep going and have all kinds of things come at us from all different kinds of ways is because we know. We know that God is building us for something better, that there's something coming at the end of this journey and that God must test us so that he can trust us to finish the race. Don't curse the darkness, my uncle would say. Strike a match and be light. Don't be angry about the process of building endurance. Go through it with great joy because there is something on the other side of this testing. Here's my question for you today. How is God building endurance in your life? What race is he preparing for you to run? How is God equipping you for his purposes? Not our purposes, but his purposes. You know, in order for us to get to the to a particular height in life, we have to go against the grain. We'll never build strength by only taking it easy. I learned something very interesting just a few days ago. I didn't know this, that a friend of mine, she works at LAX, and she talks about when the planes take off at LAX, and this is in most airports, they take off going against the wind. When they take off in the air, they go in a headwind. They face the wind because the wind and the trajectory of the plane is actually raised to a higher level because the wind gets underneath the wings and it raises it to the altitude it needs so that it can fly to its destination. And it's fascinating because as she said that, I began to think about that. I'm like, you know what? That's right. Every time we take off sometime, we head out of LAX, we head towards the ocean. And once we get to a particular altitude, we reach a particular height, the plane then turns and goes in the direction it's supposed to be going. It has to have the endurance and the strength to fight against the wind so that it can be elevated to the levels in which it was designed to be to take us to where we are destined to go. God has a destiny for you. And I pray that you will allow God to blow the winds of the current of endurance to raise us to a higher level. Let us pray. God, thank you for the headwinds. Thank you for reminding us to know that as we are building endurance, running the heels of life, um, having the short um, pace runs and having cross training and having um, uh, long runs that seem unending. But God, we know you're just simply building us up in the headwinds of life to take us to another level so that we can reach our destination. Thank you, O oh God, for what you do, how you do it, and who you're doing it through. We love you. And again, we say, forgive us for doubt. But we know without a shadow of a doubt that you have a plan for our lives. And we say thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, fam, until we meet again, peace.